I mean, I started making music in the late 80s. I, I knew nothing about making music. I, I was interested in house and techno and synth pop and and then suddenly I realized, you know, you, you would only need like a drum machine and a synth and you would be able to make this kind of music. And I had no, no uh, musical education or background in, in making music, so I thought, like, well, that's perfect for me. It was only like around mid-90s when I started kind of like finding my own sound and it was a mixture of, of, of having this analog sequences like the, the 101 and the 303 and then my favorite drum machine at the time was the 707 and, and using that to treat the 101 and but yeah I mean it, it was always kind of based around uh, the, the Roland drum machines controlling all, all the other stuff. I, I like the idea of, of having the drum machine kind of like as the master. Even just like a few weeks ago I just took the studio down a bit and had the 808 and the 606 and, and just started jamming with those and then having uh, the 808 triggering the Jupiter 4 arpeggiator and, and, and having that running there and then trying to find chords and it's, it's, it's all about having like this hands-on feel that I really miss uh, in, in terms of when, when you work on a bit more kind of sophisticated production when you work on a computer and it can be a bit sterile. With hardware you have to pay a bit more attention to what you do and there's a bit more chances like of, of doing like mistakes and mistakes can be really really creative and beautiful. I think it's just like the, the, the versatility and, and also the portability of, of, of the stuff I mean in the studio yeah I mean using the, 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 the original 909 or the 808 you know just because they are there and it, like, like I said earlier you know the vibe of having the machine there tweaking the knobs and you know having the lights off in the studio and just being there in the dark with with, with, with all that it's 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 a question of, of of having the vibe but yeah but then when you travel you don't want to bring like the you know the 808 and and the 909 with you and 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 you know having having something like uh, the new Ira stuff I, I think is pretty cool because it's it's made for playing live it's it's made for touring yeah. when I work with someone like Tiga we always try to keep things as bare minimal as, as possible and and it's always a challenge and then you kind of decide you know it's then deciding what works what what's the you know if, if you have only like one sound then you really need to think what that sound is going to be and what, what what should it do and and, and uh, yeah I mean when, when you strip it down to 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 the essentials then having like just the 808 and the and the Juno uh, baseline can't so can't, can't, really can't really go wrong <laughs> Well, I mean, when I saw the uh, the pictures for the first time, I was like super excited because, I, again, it's the, it's the portability that 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 it kind of excites me. Because yeah, I mean, you can have all your gear in the studio, but uh, I think when you travel a lot, when you have a lot of gigs and 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 you go to places, it sometimes would be nice to stay at a certain place like a few days and and write songs and 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 do stuff. And yeah, you can do it on the computer, but. Again, it's it's a bit sterile way of work. I mean, why would you be in Italy by the seaside if the only thing you're going to do is stare at the screen anyway? Yeah. So I, I love the idea of, of having something kind of like really concrete and, and, and like a real synth on your lap and, and then just like playing and, 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 and trying things out because it, it really does have, at least for me personally, the, there's a different vibe when you have something concrete and when you touch something and you have the uh, response and uh, yeah and 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 these these reproductions of these classics they uh, I'm, I'm super excited about them and the sound and look fantastic and I love this keyboard uh, idea where it's like uh, detachable because it makes it usable in the studio and it makes it easy to travel with but then again you have this playability uh, so yeah I I'm, I'm, I'm can't wait to have this out